Hi there, I am Bruno Albuz. Dark chocolate is my fave chocolate. But what about salted chocolate caramel? To die for. These make some of the best gifts ever. Since making caramel requires your undivided attention, once you begin, you should never walk away. Prepare all your tools and equipment in advance, including a cake pan lined with oiled parchment and tools you will need. For the ingredients, get the best salted butter you can find, like Irish butter. Next, scrape vanilla bean and heat up heavy cream with vanilla seeds and pod, corn syrup and honey. Cover and let them infuse. Meanwhile, chop the dark chocolate. Choose one with the highest cocoa content, like cocoa paste. Just because it contains no sugar, the ideal for caramel sweets. To make caramel, you have two options. One with sugar and water, and the second one with sugar only, which is called caramel à sec. With this method, you can't go wrong. Cook one third or half of the sugar first. When it begins to melt, stir with a spatula or whisk every so often until it turns into amber color. On medium high heat, repeat this step with remaining sugar and continue cooking until the caramel turns into deep amber color and shows no more lumps. Reduce the heat. The candy thermometer should read now 345 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius, and begin to smoke, but you don't want to wait too much longer. Mm. Now turn off burner and pour in your hot heavy cream. Cook mixture over the flame, spreading out the chocolate until your candy thermometer reads 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 120 Celsius. Turn off the heat and add the cubed salted butter and mix until completely smooth. Pour the chocolate caramel out into the oiled parchment lined pan. Then allow it to sit undisturbed for at least two hours. Overnight is best. Cut caramel block into candies using a very sharp knife. This recipe, by the way, yields 64 bonbons, about 10 grams each. I made squares, but if you want to cut them into rectangles, that is totally up to you. You can also top these chewy, melt-in-your-mouth treats with your favorite toasted nuts or some fleur de sel. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this chocolate caramel episode. I did. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you again for watching. Ciao, ciao.